O.J. Simpson. Fact or fiction? The body of 34-year-old Nicole Brown Simpson, ex-wife of O.J. Simpson, was found after midnight on the sidewalk outside her West Los Angeles home. Next to it, the body of an unidentified 26-year-old man. Both had apparently been stabbed. Simpson told police he was in Chicago at the time of the killings. He arrived at the home 12 hours after the bodies were discovered. Police escorted him to the rear of the building, and a short time later, Simpson was seen in handcuffs. After a conference with Simpson's attorney, Howard Weitzman, Simpson was released from the cuffs and taken to police headquarters for questioning. Back up, please. Get out of the way. Step back here. Don't know Step back. Don't know anything. Police will not say whether Simpson is a suspect in the killings. He talked to the people he had the business commitments with. He told them something personal and tragic had come up and he had to leave Chicago. He then left the hotel he just checked into, went back to the airport in Chicago and flew back to Los Angeles. So what? there's really nothing unusual in the business world about what he did. Red eyes are used, as you and I know, on a regular basis. Uh, so the police obviously, through friends, found out where he was? Correct. What did the police ask him about today, sir? You were there. I was uh, not present during a good part of the interview, I think it would be inappropriate to comment on what uh, they discussed and what he was interviewed about. Um, all I can say is O.J. and I hope somehow we provided some bits and pieces to allow them to catch whoever it was that committed these crimes. Howard, can you shed any light on reports that we were all getting this morning about so-called incriminating evidence found at O.J.'s house in Brentwood Park on Rockingham there, Paul, uh, the possibly blood on the driveway? The, the only light I can shed on it is I've heard the same rumors that you've heard. Uh, law enforcement has not made me privy to any of that information at all, so I can't tell you what, if anything, they found and, and if it has anything to do with, uh, with the crime or something else. All right, Howard Weitzman, thank you for being thank with you, us Paul. on a very busy night for you. Thank you again. Jeff. Right. This last question. Well, obviously, we will be interviewing everyone that we think is even remotely associated with this case, and that would include uh, any other potential witness. And I, I would hasten to add that, that everyone is a witness at this point. No one has been arrested. No one has been charged. Thank you very much. So that is live uh, from Commander David Gascon giving us the very latest that police are releasing on this investigation, which is not much other than to say that detectives are pleased that they will lead, uh, have evidence to lead to an early resolution of the case, which certainly uh, would lead us to believe that they are further along in uh, gaining a suspect uh, than just a random killing at this time. Uh, so that is the latest from Parker Center. Uh, Bob and Tricia, back well, to you. Drew, he made a very interesting statement. Uh, uh, regarding asking the media reporters not to contact any witnesses. Uh, that leads me to perhaps believe that there are witnesses perhaps that have already been talked to by other reporters and may be impeding the investigation. Well, there are a lot of uh, witnesses. Uh, what, what they did earlier in the day, what led up to it. Uh, did she go to a restaurant, as we were reporting uh, earlier, uh, that Nicole Simpson was at a Brentwood restaurant? All of these are the witnesses I believe police are talking about. We also talked to a few neighbors earlier today who heard gunshots or or maybe heard a dog barking. All right, Drew. All right, one of the interesting things is that they're not letting uh, him off the hook as yet because uh, Gascon said that they're not ruling O.J. Simpson out as, as a mm. suspect in this case. We'll just have to wait and see. So, here is what we know now at 4 o'clock. The investigation is focusing on the bloody glove found at O.J.'s house, believed to be a match for the one found at the murder scene along with other evidence. And even though he is not under arrest, O.J. Simpson is still the focus of the investigation. And autopsy results by the coroner's office are turned over to the police as part of their investigation, but few details are released. Our Jim Avila is standing by live this afternoon outside O.J. Simpson's house in Brentwood. And uh, Jim can bring us up to date on the latest on an important bit of new information. Jim? Chuck, we've been outside O.J. Simpson's house all day long. He remains secluded inside with family and friends who've been visiting all day long. 
This while OJ is now being called by police sources as the prime and only suspect now under investigation in the murder of his ex-wife and her companion. Channel 4 News has learned that both victims uh, died from gaping, massive stab wounds. Police sources tell Channel 4 News that they do not expect an arrest today because of the evidence found here at this mansion and at the Chicago hotel room where O.J. Simpson went to after the murder is, con is considered massive and too lengthy to process quickly. The Simpson estate is filled with food and well-wishers, but there has been no sign of O.J. since he finished police questioning 24 hours ago. His attorney, Howard Weitzman, made a brief appearance at the house this morning, but he had nothing to say after a short meeting with Simpson and his family. Los Angeles police have not been here today. They are busy processing evidence, including Simpson's white Ford Bronco, which was towed from the estate yesterday. Channel 4 News has learned from sources involved in the investigation that the evidence found here yesterday was overwhelming, that homicide investigators are focusing on Simpson as a suspect and have no other suspects at this time. Channel 4 News has learned that significant evidence has been found in the Chicago hotel room Simpson checked into some four hours after the double murders were discovered in Brentwood. Chicago police sources tell Channel 4 News a significant amount of blood was found on a white hotel towel in Simpson's room, that Simpson's hand was cut when he left the hotel, but police found a broken glass in the room as well. Sources say he made 12 phone calls from that room, all after he was notified of the murder investigation. None of them appear incriminating. Well, publicly, police are not saying much here. They are, in fact, saying privately that O.J. Simpson right now is the only suspect under investigation, and that while they do not yet have the evidence processed to charge him, that at some point they do expect to do that. Reporting live from this Brentwood mansion, I'm Jim Avila, Channel 4 News. In Los Angeles tonight, the O.J. Simpson case continues to dominate the news and the gossip circuit. Today there was a major development. Simpson dropped one well-known lawyer and hired another. Still no formal charges in the murder of Simpson's ex-wife and a man. O.J. will do everything he can to cooperate with them to help solve this horrible murder. The change in attorneys comes as several published reports indicate a growing trail of evidence against Simpson, including a pair of bloody gloves, blood stains on the driveway at O.J. Simpson's home and in his Bronco, and scratches police saw on O.J. Simpson when he was questioned. O.J. Simpson and his former wife had a stormy relationship during their marriage. Published reports indicate that since January, police have responded to several domestic disturbance complaints at her townhouse. Despite repeated requests from NBC News, police have refused to release reports documenting those complaints. Let's get right to it. Our top story at 4 o'clock, funeral services for the victims of a double murder. Both ceremonies were emotional farewells this afternoon, attended by hundreds of mourners. Out in Brentwood at Nicole Simpson's private service, many friends and family members embraced each other before entering a Catholic church that was filled to capacity. Meantime, Channel 4 News has learned that investigators are examining new key evidence that links O.J. Simpson to the crime. This as Simpson's lawyer calls on criminal defense experts for a second opinion about the killings. All this on a day when two funeral services served as the backdrop for an active murder investigation. Phil Schumann is standing by in Brentwood now and uh, has the latest. And uh, Phil, I guess you're outside Nicole's condominium, is that correct? That's correct. And no one knows who killed Nicole Brown Simpson and Ron Goldman outside this condo on Sunday night. No one knows why. We do know, of course, that it has caused an incredible amount of pain to all of those who knew them. And it has, of course, thrust O.J. Simpson, her ex-husband, into the media spotlight. He, one of the focuses of the investigation. All this is happening. While earlier this morning, Nicole Brown Simpson was remembered at a church service not far from here. I'm Larry Carroll in Los Angeles. The Los Angeles County District Attorney has just filed murder charges against Arinthal James O.J. Simpson in the murders of his ex-wife Nicole Brown Simpson and 25-year-old Ronald Coleman. Simpson was seen leaving his Brentwood estate by automobile a short time ago. He is expected to surrender to Los Angeles police for booking and arraignment shortly. Scheduled booking time and arraignment 11.30 p.m. Pacific time. This of news at full. He is a wanted murder suspect and we will go find him. Good afternoon again, O.J. Simpson, a fugitive from justice. These are believed to be the last pictures we have of O.J. in public. It was taken this morning, the black Mercedes-Benz driving by his home out in Brentwood, and O.J. Simpson has not been seen since. 
Good afternoon. It's 4 o'clock. I'm Chuck Henry. I'm Kathy Barr in for Kelly Lang. Get right to it. The uh, top of the news this afternoon, the story that uh, all the nation and indeed a great part of the world has been keeping a close eye on a bizarre twist in the O.J. Simpson uh, investigation. O.J. Simpson has disappeared from sight after being formally charged as a suspect in two murders. The one-time national hero now is a fugitive from justice. So here is the latest on the developments at 4 o'clock. Two counts of murder were filed today against O.J. Simpson. The police say that O.J. had agreed to turn himself in this morning. But when the appointed hour came and went, O.J. was not there. O.J. failed to appear. That left police embarrassed and, we can say, mad. And that left O.J. Simpson a fugitive from justice. He is now the target of a massive police dragnet. Yes, at 10.30 this morning is when we first really started beginning to believe O.J. Simpson was going to give himself up here at Parker Center. But by 11 o'clock, he had missed one appointment to give himself up. By 11.45, he missed another appointment to give himself up. At 2 o'clock this afternoon, he missed his arraignment. And around, uh, around 1 o'clock in the afternoon, the Los Angeles police expressed anger that an agreement with them had been broken. O.J. Simpson is now a fleeing felon, according to the Los Angeles police, missing now for five hours. Los Angeles Police Department says that they consider him a murder suspect on the loose, a murder suspect who promises to give himself up and then reneged on an agreement with police to give himself up. The Los Angeles Police Department right now is actively searching for Mr. Simpson. The Los Angeles Police Department is also very unhappy with the activities surrounding his failure to surrender. So that's the uh, situation now, and All Points Bulletin is now out in Los Angeles and California, and we understand throughout the country on O.J. Simpson. There, meanwhile, O.J. Simpson's disappearance has to rank as one of the most embarrassing highlights. This afternoon, O.J. Simpson apparently called people inside Nicole Simpson's townhouse, setting off a police and media scramble. The news of a possible O.J. sighting created these crowds standing across the street from the now infamous townhouse. Police have issued a bulletin. They are also looking for O.J. Simpson's vehicle, and they believe that one of those vehicles may indeed be a white Isuzu trooper. Phil Schumann is standing by live downtown with more on what the district attorney is saying about O.J. Simpson, the fugitive. Phil? A very angry and somewhat embarrassed district attorney, Gil Garcetti, fended off some half hour of questioning. Rather, If you in any way are assisting Mr. Simpson in avoiding justice, Mr. Simpson is a fugitive of justice right now. And now you can tell that I'm a little upset and I am upset. This is a very serious case. Live in Southern California, this is California News at 5. Diana's attention to a suspect wanted for a double 187 in West LA Division. Suspect named Arenthal James Simpson, OJ Simpson. Suspect may be driving a white or light colored Ford Bronco. Suspect was last seen wearing a yellow golf shirt, faded blue jeans, and white Reebok tennis shoes. Suspect is possibly armed and used caution. An all points bulletin from one of the most famous men in America, O.J. Simpson. These pictures from yesterday, the last time we saw O.J. and knew for sure where he was. Tonight, quite simply, he has disappeared. O.J. Simpson is wanted for murder. Good evening, everybody. It's 5 o'clock, and I'm Paul Moyer. And I'm Colleen Williams. We begin tonight at 5 o'clock with a story we've been watching all day long with you, the Simpson Golden Murders. We understand now that Fernell Chapman is standing by, a news conference by Robert Shapiro, O.J.'s attorney. Come on back, come on back, come on back, come on back, 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 back now. Talk to me, talk to me. Let's go now. Come, 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 come. He's up. Um, yes, can you get an audio level now? Can you get an audio level? You guys, are you guys ready to go? Okay. Here's my shot. Thanks. First to uh, OJ. Get here, get here, get here, get here. Wherever you are, for the sake of your family, for the sake of your children, please surrender immediately. I have on numerous occasions in the past 25 years made similar arrangements with the Los Angeles Police Department. They have always, and the District Attorney's Office, and Mr. Garcetti. All of them have always keeping their, kept their word to me, and I have always kept my word to them. In fact, I arranged the surrender of Eric Menendez from Israel on a similar basis. We are all shocked by this sudden turn of events. 
Now I would like to introduce to you Mr. Robert Kardashian, who is one of Mr. Simpson's closest and dearest friends, who will read a letter that O.J. Simpson wrote in his handwriting today. Thank you. Let's go first. This letter was written by O.J. today. To whom it may concern. First, everyone understand I had nothing to do with Nicole's murder. I loved her, always have, and always will. If we had a problem, it's because I love her I loved her so much. Recently we came to the understanding that for now we were not right for each other, at least for now. Despite our love, we were different, and that's why we mutually agreed to go our separate ways. It was tough splitting for a second time, but we both knew it was for the best. Inside, I had no doubt that in the future we would be close friends or more. Unlike what has been written in the press, Nicole and I had a great relationship for most of our lives together. Like all long-term relationships, we had a few downs and ups. I took the heat New Year's 1989 because that's what I was supposed to do. I did not plead no contest for any other reason but to protect our privacy and was advised it would end the press hype. I don't want to be labor knocking the press. But I can't believe what is being said. Most of it is totally made up. I know you have a job to do, but as a last wish, please, please, please leave my children in peace. Their lives will be tough enough. I want to send my love and thanks to all my friends. I'm sorry I can't name every one of you, especially AC. Man, thanks for being in my life. The support and friendship I received from so many, Wayne Hughes, Lewis Marks, Frank Olson, Mark Packer, Bender, Bobby Kardashian. I wish we had spent more time together in recent years. My golfing buddies, Haas, Alan Austin, Mike, Craig, Bender, Weiler, Sandy, Jay, Donnie, thanks for the fun. All my teammates over the years, Reggie, you were the soul of my pro career. Ahmad, I never stop being proud of you. Marcus, you got a great lady in Catherine. Don't mess it up. Bobby Chandler, thanks for always being there. Skip and Kathy, I love you guys. Without you, I never would have made it through this far. Marguerite, Thanks for the early years. We had some fun. Paula, what can I say? You are special. I'm sorry I'm not going to have, we're not going to have our chance. God brought you to me. I now see as I leave, you'll be in my thoughts. I think of my life and feel I've done most of the right things. So why do I end up like this? I can't go on. No matter what the outcome, people will look and point. I can't take that. I can't subject my children to that. This way they can move on and go on with their lives. Please, if I've done anything 
worthwhile in my life. Let my kids live in peace from you, the press. I've had a good life. I'm proud of how I lived. My mama taught me to do unto others. I treated people the way I wanted to be treated. I've always tried to be up and helpful. So why is this happening? I'm sorry for the Goldman family. I know how much it hurts. Nicole and I had a good life together. All this press talk about a rocky relationship was no more than that, than, I'm sorry, was no more than what every long-term relationship experiences. All her friends will confirm that I have been totally loving and understanding of what she's been going through. At times, I have felt like a battered husband or boyfriend, but I loved her. Make that clear to everyone, and I would take whatever it took to make it work. Don't feel sorry for me. I've had a great life, great friends. Please think of the real OJ and not this lost person. Thanks for making my life special. I hope I helped yours. Peace and love, OJ. Have you read those? We reviewed it with the four doctors and the psychiatrists that were there, and clearly that's their interpretation. Have you read those? What were the last words you heard from OJ? My personal words were of a complimentary nature to the way that I had been with him and to, for him to thank me for everything I had done up to date. This is the NBA on NBC. The 1994 NBA Finals. Tonight, game five between the Houston Rockets and the New York Knicks. Pavetta, who was on hand for game one, and Pavetta tosses in its control by New York. 911, what are you reporting? This is, this is AC. I have OJ in the car. Okay, where are you? Please, I'm coming up the five freeway. Okay. Right now, we all we are okay, but you got to tell the police to just back off. He's still alive, but he got a gun to his head. Okay, okay hold on a minute. Monica? He just want to see his mother. Let me get him to the house. Okay, hold on a moment. Okay, where are you? Is everything else okay? Everything right now is okay, officer. Everything is okay. All about he wants to get me to give it to his mom. He wants me to give it to his daughter. Okay. So that's all I had. That's all we had. He got a gun to his head. Okay, and what, what's your name? My name is AC. You know who I am, God damn it. Okay. All righty, sir. Hold on just a moment. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? Oh. Hello? Go ahead to his mother's home and drive safely, and uh, he'll be followed there. Hello? Okay, what we're doing is we've been uh, we've asked the police department they they can't see through the windows, and we're allowed to shoot a picture through the windows to see if indeed he is back there with the gun. So they've asked us, uh, they've let us come down here at uh, tree level. Okay, now they've asked us to climb up. CBA, but back in his days at Ohio State, he'll give up his body as he took the hard hit from Anthony Mason. 6.39 remaining.
in this first half. Knicks by two. We are looking at live pictures of Interstate 5 in Los Angeles. We believe that that white vehicle, which is being trailed by a phalanx of California Highway Patrol cars and helicopters, belongs to Al Cowlings, who disappeared with O.J. Simpson earlier today, shortly after Mr. Simpson was informed that he was going to be formally charged with the murder of his wife and the young man who was with her at the time. It is the latest bizarre development in a string of bizarre and shocking developments that have been going on all day long. And you're again, you're in contact with whoever is in the car at this point. You're really not sure. Personally, our dispatch had a 911 call uh, from the vehicle a few ago. I don't know what the substance of that conversation was. And we really don't know how many people are in there, do we? Well, the sheriff's deputy uh, in the we're, vehicle... What we're hearing here is a man from the California Highway Patrol by the name of Pete Gustafson, who is describing to KNBC anchors Paul Moyer and Colleen Williams uh, right, so what they've learned and what they've been doing is trailing this car for some time because they received a uh, cell phone car yeah. call on 911. So the contact was made directly from uh, the Ford Bronco here uh, to emergency services, right? I'm sorry, I'm trying to listen to three other radios. Can you say that again? I, I said uh, th this is the first we've heard. There's been a 911 call from this vehicle. Yes. Can you tell us what the radios are saying? Is it is it anything pertaining to this particular situation? Uh, no, but if I can put you on hold, I could probably get some more info. Why don't you go ahead, and we'll get back to you as soon as you're ready, all right, okay. Pete? Thanks. Again, to bring you up to date, we believe that that car belongs to Al Collings, who was a lifetime friend of uh, O.J. Simpson and disappeared with, with him today from a home in the San Fernando Valley as police were closing in to make an arrest of the well-known uh, personality uh, shortly after he had been formally charged with two counts of murder. We're still on the there has been no positive identification, however, of O.J. Simpson in that truck or of Al Cowlings. However, the truck is not pulling over. The chase has been going on for some time, as you can see, at moderate speeds. Earlier today, uh, we heard a letter from O.J. Simpson written to the general public in which he said, I can't go on, and his lawyer described it as a suicide note. We'll uh, bring you up to date uh, on this situation if a resolution is reached with all the continuing developments. Now let's go back to Marv Albert in the playoff game, Marv. Thank you, Tom. 5.57 remaining in this first half. With a minute and 40 to go in this first half, we will set it to NBC News. Here's Tom Brokaw. Thank you, Marvin. We are looking uh, once again at pictures of Al Cowling's cars. It makes its way along a freeway in Los Angeles in the south central part of that area. And we are told by the California Highway Patrol that O.J. Simpson is in that car holding a gun to his head. He has been in touch with a police highway dispatcher saying he wants to be taken to his mother. He wants to see her. Um, but we don't know what the resolution of all of this will be. There are nine black and whites, most of them from the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department and at least one police helicopter following him at this time. Al Collings, we're told, is driving. O.J. Simpson is in the back seat with a gun at his head. They fled earlier today when Simpson realized he was about to be arrested for the murder of his ex-wife and the young man who was with him at the time. So now the situation has taken an even more bizarre step as we watch on live television O.J. Simpson negotiating with a police dispatcher being followed down a closed freeway by nine sheriff's deputies and most of the Los Angeles news media. Back to you, Marv. All right, Tom, it is obviously... Tom, obviously it's so difficult to follow news of that nature. And as we return to Madison Square Garden. Yeah. Just let me get to my house. Please. Okay, we're going to do that. I swear to you, I'll give you what, I'll you, give you me, I'll give you my whole body. I, okay. I just need to get to my house. Okay. Where okay. Live with the cold. We're going to do that. Just throw the gun out the window. I can't do that. We're not going to bother you. We're going to let you go up there. Just throw it out the window, please. You're scaring everybody. OJ, you there? Yep. for me. 
This I'm is not to keep you guys away from me. This I know is for that. Me. Nobody's going to hurt this you. This is for me. Okay, it's for you. I know that, but do it this for you. This is for me, for me. I That's know all. that. I know that, but do it for the kids, too, will you? Yeah. Think of your kids. Yeah. Please, just toss it out. You're scaring everybody, man. Uh, no, I'm not going to hurt anybody. I know you're not going to hurt anybody. but me. I know you're not, man. I'm just going to go with me. Please, you, you're scaring everybody, though. You're scaring uh, them. Just tell them I'm all sorry. You can tell them later on the day and tomorrow that I was sorry. and that I, I'm sorry that I did this to the police department. Listen, I think you should tell them yourself. Uh -huh. And I don't want to have to tell your kids that. Uh, your kids need you. I've already said goodbye to my kids. Listen, no, we're not going to say goodbye to your kids. Oh, you're going yeah. to you're going to see them again. Huh? You want to see them again? Please, you're scaring us. You're scaring them. Please, man. Hey, you've been a good guy too, man. Let Thanks. Me tell you, I, I know you're doing your job. You went appreciate with me right that. from the beginning. Just saying you're doing your job. Listen, I know you do a good job. Okay, thank you. But there's a lot of people that love you. Don't throw it all uh, away. Don't throw it all away. I can't take this. Oh yes, you can. Yes, you can. I can't. You got your whole family out here. Uh, I can't. They love you, man. Don't throw this away. Uh, Don't do this. They love you. Uh, Don't do it, OJ. It's going to work itself out. It's going to work. It's going to work. You're listening to me. I know you. And you're thinking about your kids right now, aren't you? Aren't you? Uh, They're thinking about you. They're thinking about you. Uh, so is your mother. Your mother loves you. Everybody oh. loves you. Don't do this. I know you're thinking. Oh. Man, just throw it out the window. Uh. And nobody's going to get hurt. I'm the only one that deserves. No, you don't deserve I'm that. Get hurt. You do not deserve to get hurt. You do uh. not deserve to get hurt. Don't do this. All I did was love Nicole. That's all I did was love her. I understand. I love everybody. I, I tried to show everybody my whole life that I love everybody. We know that. And everybody loves you. Uh, Especially your family, your mother, your kids, all your friends, AC. Uh, everybody does. Don't do this. Just put it down or throw it out the window. Uh, and this will all go away. It's going to be a lot better tomorrow, believe me. Uh, huh? Please. We'll let you go up to the house, but we need you to throw yeah. that out the window. Uh, yeah. We'll let you go up there, but we need you to uh, throw the gun out the uh, window. Please. And see it take it from me when I get home. What? If you throw it out the window, they're not going to have to do that. Okay? Hello? OJ, you still there? Yeah, Jay, it's Tom again. Uh, oh, yeah, get up. Huh? Uh, hey, it's going to be better tomorrow. Get rid of the gun. Toss it, please. Uh, Too many people love you, man. Don't give it all up. Don't hurt everybody. You're going to hurt everybody. I'm just going to leave. I'm just no, gonna don't. Go with Nicole. That's all I'm going to do. That's all hey, I'm listen. trying to do. Think about everybody I else, all right? I can't do it on the freeway. I couldn't do it in a field. I want to do it at a grave. I want to do it at my house. You're not going to do anything. Too many people love you. Your uh, kids, your mother, your friends, AC, everybody. you got the whole world. Don't throw it away. Uh, don't throw it away, man. Come on. OJ? Hello. Lost him again. The Knicks lead 54-43. Ijeron lost it. Starks protecting it, getting it to Oakley, feeding you. a timeout with 6.49 remaining, third quarter. And this, the play of the night. The Knicks extend to a 13-point lead. 20, I'm Tom Brokaw, NBC News in New York, and you are looking at live television pictures at dusk in Southern California. The white Bronco that you see on the freeway going right on your screen contains... O.J. Simpson, a fugitive at large, charged with two counts of murder. We believe it is being driven by his lifelong friend, Al Collings, and they are headed toward O.J. Simpson's old neighborhood in Brentwood. We believe that Simpson's mother is at his Brentwood estate. Earlier, Simpson told a police dispatcher that he had a gun to his head, that he would hurt himself, but he wanted to see his mother. 
He's been on the run now for almost eight hours. Since fleeing a home in the San Fernando Valley as police closed in on him to arrest him for two counts of brutal murder, his ex-wife and a young man, shortly after he was told as well by his lawyer that he could face the death penalty. We'll have continuing coverage of this very dramatic episode throughout the evening here on NBC. Now let's go back down to Madison Square Garden. Thank you, Tom. Six minutes, 49 seconds remaining. Third quarter, the Knicks with their biggest lead. Is that street, Rockingham, is a very, very narrow... OJ, it's Tom again. How you doing? Uh, you just tell them at my house. I know they're all over the place with guns. And they're, stuff. they're not going to do let it. them know I'm not coming there to hurt any of them. Okay, they know that. Okay. They don't want to hurt you. You going to go to the house? That's why I told you we weren't. You know, you just let them all know. You let the police know. You let them all know. I wasn't running. I know you I weren't running. To to, I know you I weren't running. I was trying to go to Nicole's grave. I know you weren't running. And now I can't. I know you weren't, man, but you yeah. got everybody scared. Yeah. You got us all scared with a gun, man. Yeah, and I'm sorry I made the police look bad by not no. showing up. Hey, we don't care. Do that. That's that's not a problem. You know what? You know what? You know what the, the important thing is here, is that you don't hurt everybody and break their hearts. I'm not gonna hurt anybody. You're gonna break somebody's heart. Is what you're I gonna know, do. If I hurt somebody, I'm not gonna hurt. And I'm anybody. I'm talking your mother and I'm talking your kids. Don't do this. Listen, you've been a man all your life. Uh, no, don't stop now, O.J. Don't give in now. Uh, Juice, don't give in now. You've been a man all your life. You're admired. Don't give it up. Uh, you're listening to me. You're thinking. I know you're thinking. Oh. You're tired, too, aren't you? Huh? I'm so tired. I know. I know. I just want to be with Nicole. You don't need to be with Nicole. You need to be with your family and with your kids. You don't need to be with Nicole. Uh. All right? That doesn't need to be done now. You need your, your kids, and your kids need you. Don't do this to them. You're hurting everybody, man. Uh, You're being selfish with your kids, man. Don't do it. When did you see the kids last, Juice? They see pull me in my driveway. I know. I see you. I see you. Please, toss the gun. Uh, Juice, just toss it. Come on, uh, man. Just toss it, please. All right? Juice, just, just toss the gun. All right, who is that out there? All right, just toss it, Juice. He's just trying to help. He's just trying to help, man. He's just trying to help. Juice, come on, just toss it. It's okay. Hey. No, don't, no. Hey, man, don't. No, don't. Juice. Don't do it. Juice, come on. Juice. Juice, are you there? Hey. Pick it up, Juice. Juice. Juice, I'm still here. Juice. Juice, don't do it. Juice. Hey. Juice, pick it up. Pick it up. OJ, pick it up. Listen to him. O.J., listen to him. O.J., listen to him. Listen to him. Please, O.J., come on. Toss it. Officers or uniformed men came up and pulled him away, flashing lights on both sides, and we are right here at a, at a standoff. Again, it, it just seems perfectly clear that Cowling wants everybody to be calm. Can ask everybody to be quiet for a moment. We have on the phone with us as well Robert Higgins, who lives in the neighborhood and is on the ground and can see inside the van. Mr. Higgins. Uh, yes, uh, how are you? Uh, just about as tense as you are, sir. Oh, my lord, this is quite the tensest. What can you see? Oh, what I'm looking at right now is I'm looking at the van and I see OJ kind of slouching down, looking very, very upset. Now, looking here, he looked very upset. 
I don't know what he gonna be doing. Can you can you can you see him doing anything specific? Is he merely sitting there? He is just uh, sitting around, you know, just uh, looking like he'd be very nervous. Can you hear anything, Mr. Higgins? It's just too much commotion. I'd be in the back of a news van, so I can't really hear that good, but I can see it all. And I see O.J. I see O.J., man, and he looks scared. And I would be scared, because there's cops all deep in this. Thank you, Mr. Higgins. And Baba Booey to y'all. The driveway of O.J. Simpson's home in Brentwood, clearly an effort being made to have him come out of the vehicle, in the doorway of the house, his friend, Al Cowling. Peter, by the way, just uh, for the record, this is Al Michaels. Uh, that was a totally farcical call. Uh, lest anybody think that that was somebody who was truly across the street. That was not. Uh, he, he said something in code at the end that's indicative of uh, the mentioning of the name of... Uh, a certain radio talk show host. Okay, thanks, Al. So, he was not there. All right, we have them on every coast. Thank you very much. Not the first time nor the last time will have been had, but... The next 91, the Rockets, 84, as they head back to Houston for Game 6 on Sunday. A reminder, we will be rejoining Tom Brokaw and NBC News for more coverage on the O.J. Simpson scenario in Southern California. Uh, well, Marika's going to, uh, we're going to go to a picture inside Chopper 2 here. We can bring our lights on. Unbelievable. We saw an incredible situation that's gone on for hours. Incredible restraint by the Los Angeles Police Department. They got their man. They found him. And he was followed up into Los Angeles. Uh, all the way into Brentwood, where the pursuit terminated here on Rockingham. Now, we couldn't show you the pictures because we don't do that. We don't show you SWAT operations as they unfold because we don't want to endanger officers' lives. But the fortunate situation was that the officers kept their distance. They allowed the SWAT team, the pros, to come in. They took their positions while they were setting up possible diversionary uh, situations. They allowed uh, a peaceful negotiated uh, release where Mr. O.J. Simpson gave himself up. Now, it was very traumatic. He was able to come out of the Bronco with two pictures, two frames in his hands. He was not carrying the weapon, and he was taken into custody. That's the information we have. For more visit ojsimpson.co